Hey, how's it going? What's up, knuckleheads? Um, <clears throat> sorry, this is just going to be an audio podcast today. I'm really kind of, as you can tell by my voice, not feeling the best. I'm going to go see the doctor. Um, I might have an issue with my tonsils again. Yes, I'm a 24-year-old man. I saw his tonsils. Woo. Anyways, um, I wanted to kind of get this in quick. Um, today's somewhat of a feedback Friday and to slightly also vent my frustrations about Pokemon Go, which... Um, I just, that drives me up to no end sight here, but I will kind of explain that later in the show here. Um, so, first thing I'd like to talk about, um, just kind of a couple big updates here. Um, I got the Xbox Pro Controller. Um, <laughs> that was not a uh, planned uh, purchase there, so um, I will be testing that out. Um, I'm updating the new Overwatch as we speak, or the new the latest update for that. Um, that's going. Um, updated my, uh, computer case as well, um, the one I originally bought was bent out of shape, I bought it second hand, I was kind of pissed I did, so, um, I got a new one coming there for you guys, or, new one for me, so, yay, um, I might have to fix a couple things on it, but it's actually better than the last one I had, so, um, other than that, um, that's really about it as far as channel updates, um, ever since a big milestone with the 500 video, that was kind of cool, uh, I would love to have that success on a repeat basis here. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, let's get down to it. Um, let's talk about Pokemon Go. So, they released an update. Um, I believe it was on Wednesday or... Th- yeah, Wednesday or Tuesday, one of the two. This is recorded on Thursday. It'll be on Friday. Where they did a minor update. Minor text fix. Minor text fix. Out of the dozens of problems that happened with this game, and the new problems that added with it, uh, with the uh, step counter, the steps uh, under the Pokemon feet not working correctly, um, you would think out of the list of things that they would need to fix, that, you know... Okay, let's at least back up and let's fix the one thing that was broke. You know, let's, let's start with the feet. Let's go back and fix that because that was the thing that happened. It was working and now it didn't. Usually those fixes are usually a little bit easier. You, you kind of go through the patch code of what you did to figure that out. So, yeah. Um... I wonder if you guys can hear the phone or not. Anyways, so... I don't feel like... Whatever that company is. um, Niniac or Naniac, something like that. Um, We'll figure it out here. But Niantic. There we go. That, That company is just... Literally has to have their heads up their asses. At this point, that's all I can think of is they literally have to have their heads up their asses because I there are so many things that need to be fixed in the game from the AR just being all over the place I had a ghost Pokemon today that happened first time that's happened to me um to some of the other mechanics that need to be fixed a step counter needs to be fixed um a general direction would be nice too like if I'm gonna go hunt for a Pokemon it's within like 300 steps or whatever it is. I want to at least give me a freaking general direction. At least tell me how to cold. I mean, come on. You know. Give me at least a little bit there. But their GPS sucks. Um, despite the fact that they're using Google Maps. That's like one less thing they have to actually worry about. That they go and just like completely befungle the GPS system. To the point where like... You know, I could be staying right next to the object and still technically be out of range. Um, most notably, um, where I work, there's a lake, and right next to the lake, there's a statue, and that's one of the gyms, and it's a big fish or something like that. And so, I'm literally, like, standing right on top of it one day, and it, I kind of get in, I kind of get out. Like, I get in the gym, I'm like, sweet. So, I go in, I want to go fight it because I want to take it over. And it kicks me out. I'm too far away. 
And then it, like, reboots itself, kicks back in, like, okay, I'm in. And, again, it, I get in, try to fight, and it kicks me out. Like, I did this, like, four or five times, and I just finally said, fucking, just kind of left, and went to the closest Pokestop, so I just get some Pokeballs going. And I'm just going, come on, like, really? There's so many things wrong with that picture. It, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah. And then, being a guy who, I, I don't make a lot of religious comments, I don't, I don't want to try to make any either, um, but despite the fact that, um, a lot of the Pokemon gyms, I mean a lot of them, are next to churches. Now, I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with that, I'm not saying that, um, it's not a bad idea, but it just... In, in my area, I'm I'm not I'm kind of more of an urban area. The churches are kind of spread out. They're not close to each other. I mean, I, we're in Iowa. We're not we're not in New York here. Like churches are like every other block in New York, like a Starbucks. You know, you come to the middle of Iowa, they're a couple miles apart from each other. If you want to go to a church, you gotta figure out which one you want to go to because you're not hopping from one to one next week. Um, just because you didn't like something, and, you know. And, I don't know, it's, I live, like, in a not-so-urban area. Like I'm kind of a mixture between businesses and um, gyms, and, or businesses and urban area. I have two Pokestops and a gym in my area that I can really reach within a 10-minute walk. That's not bad, but it's not great. Um... The problem is the game's so focused on urban cities and urban city environments. And I just go, okay, I mean, that's all great and all, but I don't want to be catching Pidgeys, Rattats, and Weedles the entire game. Like, there's a lot of issues with that aspect where, okay, your only three Pokemon can't be those. Um, throw in a Pikachu every once in a while, make it at least worth my while, more bug Pokemon or something... Uh, make it so that at least some of the more obtainable Pokemon are around. Or even better yet, if you hit like level 10 and 20 and 30, changing it up so that the certain Pokemon are more common now. It, it, that's, not, that's not a hard mechanic to do, not a hard mechanic to fix. And so you're we're doing all this, and it's just like... I, I, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. Um... It, that 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 does need to be fixed. It's not the main gripe I have. I mean, I, I can understand and deal with it, but it, it is a gripe. So, um, another thing that needs to be fixed, I think, is a candy system. And why do I say that? Um, I've seen a couple arguments about this now, and a couple YouTubers kind of discuss this a little bit here. And the candy system is arbitrarily fixed I feel like so for example um, everything gets three candies if you catch it everything gets one candy if you transfer it and I don't know what the ratio is for candies of a hatch egg um, I've only hatched a couple of Pokemon I haven't really paid attention to that at all but okay if it's a common Pokemon you really should be only getting like one or two like make it at least a little bit harder of all those things if they're that common. And then Pokemon that are a lot rarer to find. Like I have yet to find a Charmander. Like I picked him as my star. I'm like sweet. I'm going to have a Charizard. It's going to be awesome. I have not seen one fucking Char or Charmander. Or Charmeleon or Charizard for that matter. Um, I'm also again in a, a, very, a semi-urban area. So it's kind of hard for me to look for them. Um, those maybe should be a little bit more worth more if I find one. Like if I catch a Charmander I should be getting like five candies. Or, okay, I, w I will say this, though. Magikarp probably should stay at three, maybe go to four. Just because the amount of candies he requires f for his evolution is ridiculous. He requires 400 candies. Absolutely ridiculous. It is just mind-boggling. That's how many he needs. But that's another story. So, like, I have a Rhyhorn. I have yet to see another one. And it gives me your standard three candies. Okay, that's 
great, except for he's such a low CP Pokemon, because that's the only one I found, so I caught him right away. But... It, what, what, what am I going to do with that? Like, I, I got three three games for Rhyhorn doing nothing to help me. It doesn't do me any good, because I don't have a more Rhyhorns to catch right now. And I definitely don't want to waste the Stardust just trying to CP him up, and still not use him. So... I mean, that, that needs to be fixed. It, it needs to be adjusted, I should say. It doesn't need to be fixed, per se. Um, I guess the last thing I kind of want to talk about here... Um, partly, some people know about this now, some people don't. So, if you catch this and you're like, Oh, hey, I didn't know this. Um, this might be a topic for you. is the Eevees and how to evolve them correctly. So, how to evolve them correctly... Um, it actually goes back to a reference from, like, the first, like, one or two seasons of Pokemon. And while the nod to the episode's funny, it's kind of... It's a nostalgia thing on my end. No kid under the age of 15... Yeah, 16. Is gonna, like, not only get the reference, but seen the reference. And it's really hard to understand that. So let me explain. In one episode, um, Ash Ketchum goes and meets up with the Eevee trainers, um, who each have one of the evolutions of the Eevee, Foleon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, and each one of them's got a unique name, Pyro, Rainer, and um, Sparky. So, obviously not really original names per se on that, but god damn, like, that, that's it, that's how you do it. You name an Eevee after one of those names, and you'll get that representative Pokemon. So Sparky gets Jolteon, Raynor gets Vaporeon, and Pyro gets uh, Flareon. What the hell? Like, it's, this came out of, like, left field for most people. Like, whoever found this is a fucking genius, because I would never have caught that. And it's just kind of one of those, like, that's, that's, I mean, it works. I mean, I've, I've tested it, it works. I've... Um, now, I don't know what the theory is on if it works more than once, because from what I've understood, it works once for each evolution, and you're basically done after that. And it goes back to random chance. But, I'm just going, really? Like, that's, that's, that's it? Like, okay, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go off the rail just a little bit here. Why is there no stones? Seriously, like, I mean, I, I understand that it's not that big of a mechanic of the game anymore. But the original Pokemon first two generations per se, that was a big mechanic. That was a huge deal. And I can also see it um, in the future affecting other things that could be a big problem. Um, like if you end up going to Gen 3, um, the Gen 3 Pokemon Ralts, um, at the end it's Garbodor or Gallade, and one of them needs a Dawnstone, the other one just evolves into um, a Gardevoir, and so how are you going to differentiate that? Because once, once you start getting past the third generation, it's going to get a little tricky. Um, I don't know, we'll see. That, that's something that's I kind of wish they would have implemented it. That could have been a fun thing, like randomly a Pokestop you pick up a stone like that 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 would have been a mechanic that could have easily been inserted. Um and you could have thrown it as a microtransaction for that as well. Uh the microtransaction system I'm not actually disappointed in. Like I'm actually okay with it. It's not bad. It's not great either, but it's 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 passable. It it does its job. Uh for people that want to kind of get an edge or kinda of need a few Pokeballs here and there. Um it works. Like, a dollar gives you 20 Pokeballs. Um, that's enough to kind of get you going until you end up hitting their Poke Spot if you need to. Um, obviously, some of the things you can't do without microtransactions. Like, if you want a bigger bag or more uh, Pokemon storage inventory, um, that's where you'll run into a problem where it's like you'll need so many credits, and you can only get the credits from gyms. And you can only hold, like, five a day tops, and that's, like, ten credits each, so... To actually get some of the items, like if you don't plan on buying other items at all to save up for it, it's just ridiculous. So, um, 
that's where I'm at right now. It's just, it's okay. It's, there's some things that are just kind of like, you kind of wish things would be fixed. Um, Pokemon Go needs some help. And if it doesn't get help by fall, when it starts getting colder, people will drop it. People will say, fuck it, it's it's too cold, I'm not going outside. Like, I know Alakazam's right across the street, but goddamn, I'm not going outside. I mean, some people will do that, it's just nature of the game. You'll, you'll have people in the less uh, warmer areas of the United States dropping the game, and then either forgetting about it or picking it up later uh, during the spring, but... Yeah, I mean, there you go. <laughs> All right, um, that does it for this episode. I've talked on for way too long here, and my neck's really fucking sore here. So uh, if you guys like the video, give it a like. Um, if you want to see more great content or hear me j jabber on, um, please do subscribe today and let me know what you guys do like and didn't like about this today. As always, guys, keep on gaming, keep on having fun, and, uh, well, let's play.